Okay, all right. Hello, guys. This is Queen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services here in Boston, Massachusetts at the Starbucks right now. It is Monday, August the 23rd. I am starting right now to submit peer-reviewed articles as well as trying to get published in some journals and some articles beginning to get that started. Okay. I'm also going to talk about responding to Governor Andrew Cuomo's farewell speech, okay? He gave a brief farewell speech. He really didn't explain or not. Uh, pretty much he, he also said and stated, publicly announced that Bill Bellasio would not run, be running for a re-election for a New York City mayor. And we would actually be having a new New York City mayor, Eric Adams. So he just announced that on public television that Eric Adams would actually be the new uh, proposed mayor of New York City. Yes. Uh, so I think that's great. Uh, but also, I just wanted to say um, I, I want to send out deep sincerity to Governor Andrew Cuomo right now. He's going through a lot of burdens. He's, he's kind of moving around, transitioning from that 10 long year um, establishment being having the authority on the power of governor of the state of New York, which is a huge responsibility. So I want to congratulate him for all the work he's done, as well as to let him know that some people see um, that um, might be concerned for a little bit for the welfare of the Queen battle, which is fine. But again, you got to take it day by day. He in that type of position. Um, and has the higher authority over making laws, establishing regulations, um, bringing money, budgets, whatever is necessary in order to guide the public in, direct, in the right direction. So he is the one who will also be supporting COVID research as well as, as research and initiation behind making sure that schools as well as, as um, um, uh, um, authoritative bodies are aware of what is going on right now in the in the pandemic so it's because of governor andrew cuomo and his COVID 19 task force his team of people around him that have made public announcements uh reports statistics numbers given to the public over the past year 12 months okay maybe nine to 12 months so i want to go ahead and congratulate him for publicizing the numbers whether the numbers were factual or whether they were not factual again whether they were off or whether they were more or less, I want to congratulate him for all the hard work and the effort that Governor Andrew Cuomo, as well as his task force, has done uh, throughout this whole pandemic. Now, I, I went to a couple schools today here in the Boston area. I went to Harvard. I was around at Harvard. I went to MIT and also went to Boston College letting people know that public publicly making an announcement that the COVID pandemic is not yet over, okay? Even though we are at the edge of a new variant, even though we're at the edge of a new, almost maybe halfway, maybe kind of like almost halfway, more than halfway through the pandemic, it is still not over, okay? So right now, school sessions are about to start. People are in motion. I know they're kind of mimicking me right now. It's really irritating. It's really irritating. So the people are about to start school as well as to try to be classified or declassified into another category. So how do you establish running from a pandemic that has cut schools down, led to all at home learning, as well as bringing virtual learning into in-person classroom learning, which is what um, the, uh, the results report said. Cuomo in New York, as well as Fauci in DC and all the other um, uh, politicians around uh, the United States have pretty much established in motion, making sure that their results, their their numbers, their reports are pretty much in the same motion. So I went to a couple schools today letting people know it's okay, keep doing what you're doing, keep publishing, let your results be made known about what you're doing, whether your results, whether you report, whether your research is good or not, whether it's bad or good, please continue to let people know about your research and the efforts that you are doing in the community in the academic community. So I went to a couple schools today on Monday. I will continue to do the same thing until about school starts. Made a couple here and there announcements as well. So that's what I do. I do I did it last year at Boston at Boston College on uh, around down uh, Longwood Medical Center last year about September, October, December of the same time in 2020 and now I'm doing it again here in August of 2021, letting people know, making them aware of how the COVID the COVID pandemic is impacting them. This pandemic has been going on for about two years, okay? And so um, 
it's going into two years for, so you can do what you can do okay it is impacting the community okay so um you know you just i'm i'm fine i you know i do need help i'm asking for donations i'm trying to do what i can and make the best effort possible so if andrew cuomo and his team want to help la queen battle certified medical assistant and doing pediatric first aid as well as community health advocate activist please email me at battlefirstaid at icloud.com or you know my, I have a public number and give me a call anytime if you are that much concerned about my welfare. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> all right, so help me out, okay? I think I want to thank him for all everything that he has done, as well as um, all, even though the frustration of going through a public humiliating, humiliating investigation against abuse and allegations made by his his own staff, his own his own teammates, his own staff making allegations against him um, has been really embarrassing and humiliating to be exposed like that in the public against your own teammates okay against your own co-workers it's embarrassing for him to be in that kind of position and just to be um, embarrassed like that but of course it has to be known to the public what he's doing as well as for him to be responsible for his actions even though he's in that higher position even though he's married to Kennedy even though his father was a former governor of New York even though you know he and, and, and Mayor Bill Belazio may have had disagreements here or there he is still governor of the state of New York so I just want to send out prayers as well as warm wishes to him on his future successes as well as his future endeavors and whatever Andrew Cuomo um, wants to do and wants to pursue. So he, I don't know if I'm related to him. Um, I do have family uh, in Cuomo, Texas, but again, I don't know if the Cuomo family name is the same as this city in Texas, which is called my hometown in Texas, which is called Cuomo. Como, Texas. I don't know if it's safe, any kind of relation. But again, I want to go ahead and send prayers as well as a stressful situation because he was actually supposed to resign on Wednesday, this Wednesday, but instead he chose to resign immediately, effective today on Monday, August the 23rd. So that's how it is. I do want to go ahead and also send out a congratulations to Mayor Bibalazio on his future successes as well as his future endeavors of what Mayor Bibalazio wants to do as well as his wife and his children. Again, Mayor Bibalazio de decided not to run for re-election and gave it over to Eric Adams, the Democratic candidate for Mayor of New York, which is okay. So Eric Adams is a nice person. He's a good guy. But again, Bill Bellasio has done a lot for the city of New York. Okay, so congratulations to Mayor Bill Bellasio. They had a homecoming this past weekend in New York, which was good. Everybody came out, danced, had a good time, had a concert, a couple musicians, rappers, R&B people. Everybody was out at the homecoming this past weekend. Great. They had the back to, school, back to school concert here in Boston. I was a little bit under the weather. I slept in all weekend. But again, Boston, New York, everybody had a great weekend. I was in here sleeping kind of a little bit under the weather and sick. So, shout out to Mayor Bill Blasio, Bill Day Blasio, Bill Day, Bill de Blasio on also his future endeavors of what Mayor Blasio is doing too as well. So we're losing a lot of people in politics. We're losing the governor of New York, we're losing the mayor of New York, as well as if uh, the governor of California uh, decides or not to run for election. So, um, because this pandemic has hit on a lot of politicians. So I think the governor of California is, uh, let me see here. The governor of California, Gavin Newsom. So it just depends on whether Gavin Newsom also wants to run for re-election. So we're losing a lot of, of politicians due to this pandemic. But Bill Blasio was a good guy. He's a good guy, everybody loves Bill, but unfortunately, he decided not to run for re-election. So anyway, so we're losing the governor of New York, as well as mayor of New York, as well as a lot of other politicians who have been against the vaccine. Um, the governor of Texas, uh, Greg Abbott, who also tested positive for the COVID-19 virus, and also Jesse Jackson, a minister, as well as part of the black community, activist in the black community, minister from the civil rights movement in the 1950s, Jesse Jackson, also tested positive to for the COVID-19 virus. So it's affecting a lot of people. 
and as well as it's coming to the south so it's going to be affecting the black church as well okay people are going to have to get serious about this issue and address it okay address the issue and be serious about it okay we're not trying to start a civil war we're just trying to contain this control this virus and do what we can president biden can't do it all by himself okay Dr. Fauci can't do it by itself. It's us as an academic community of students to come together and accept the fact that we have our own experiences, we have our own, we have our own emotions, what we've been through. So we should let our experiences, our emotions, our what we've been through, our happenings, let it be known to the public, publish it, publish what we've been through, turn that into research, and then compare our results, compare our experiences to other people other other cities other countries what they've been through and make sure that we are on the same page about this virus that's what i was trying to tell people here a couple of schools a couple of universities here in boston whether your research is good or bad still get it out there let people know what you're doing let it be made known and just let it be exposed okay let it be exposed all right so this is the queen battle i wish um governor andrew cuomo the best as well as Mayor Bill de Blasio, the best too, on all their future endeavors. Okay, this is LaQueen Battle. Please email me at battlefirstaid at iCloud.com. You give me a call, I have a public phone number. I really appreciate you. You can reach me on all social medias Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, YouTube, as well as here on my YouTube channel. Okay, I'm a 501c3 nonprofit, so I would appreciate donations. You can donate to me, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal at Battle First Aid Responder Services. Okay? I love you guys. Please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Bye. That is so irritating.